Hello everyone and welcome back to Tamara's Crafty Corner. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom Butterfinger wrapper using Photoshop. The measurements that I'm going to give you in today's video, you can use in any software that you use to create your templates in. So the measurements for my canvas that you see here on the screen is... Change that images. The width is 7.38 and the height is 4.64. So that is the total size for the Butterfinger template. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to create the top, middle, and bottom layers of the template. And so to do that, you're going to go to the rectangle tool. You're going to make any size rectangle. Over here in the width, you're going to put in 7.38 and enter. And for the height, you're going to put in 1.44 and enter. Go back to my move tool. And this layer right here is your top layer. Now make sure I take that stroke off from around my layer. I'm going to go to the ruler up here and I'm just going to drag this down. This is going to separate my top, middle, and bottom layers. So if I just want to have my whole canvas white, I still know where my top layer is, my middle layer, and my bottom layer. So let's continue. We're going to go back to the rectangle tool. We're going to make any size rectangle. I'm going to go over here to width and put in 7.38 and enter. For the height, I'm going to put in one. 0.69 and enter. I'm going to move that. I'm going to change this to the middle layer. Move these around and make sure that the stroke is off. I'm going to go to my ruler and drag down my line to make my guideline. Then I'm going to go back over here to rectangle tool, make any size rectangle. Go here to the width and I'm going to put in 7.38 and enter. And in height, I'm going to put in 1.51 and enter. And now I have my template and I'm ready to create. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to I can change this to bottom layer. I am going to click my middle layer and I'm going to go to FX pattern overlay and I'm going to pick a pattern that I already use. And I'm going to use the Simpsons sky background that I have. For the top and bottom layer, I'm going to do the same thing. Go to FX pattern layer. Click on my design that I want. I'm going to make that. Go to the bottom layer, same thing. FX pattern overlay. I'm going to leave it like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Place Embedded, and I'm just going to bring in my images. I'm going to hit Command, where it already has the thumbnail, so I'm going to hold the Shift key, and I'm just going to drag my corner down just to make my Butterfinger. It. Now I'm going to hit Command T. I'm going to shrink it down to fit where I want it to go. Now I'm going to bring in some images.
and we are done designing. This is all I'm going to do. So now we're going to go print it out and then I will see you guys over at the assembly table. We have our image print and you see that it can come to, to a page. So we have our image. We have our butterfinger. I have this Elmer's tape runner, double-sided tape that I use. This is the paper that I use. I love this paper. Office Depot brochure flyer paper, 100 sheets, gloss. I love this paper. So this is what I use to print my wrappers on. I have my scissors and my pink and shears, and I also have hot glue over here to the side. But what you want to do is now you want to cut your image out. Now that we have the image cut, I like to go and I like to fold where my layers, not fold like a hard fold, but to give it enough to give it a crease. I'm going to do that with both of them. I'm going to crease it. Not so much of a hard crease. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my double-sided tape and I'm going to tape down one end. Once I put my butterfinger in, I'm going to just connect the ends of the paper. Now I'm just connecting the ends of the paper. So it'll be like this. It'll look like this. Okay. And then once I've done that, I am going to fold it down. So as you can see, my front layer, my top, and this is the bottom layer. And you can go in and you see where the it's white showing. You can go in there and clean that up if you want to, to give it a nice clean edge. Okay, so that's my top layer. And then what I do is I get the super glue and I'm gonna get my super glue. And I'm gonna super glue the edge. And I'm gonna press down. And I'm going to do it again on the other side. Put some hot glue. And be careful and not to burn yourself because this glue gets hot and it burns. And I'm going to go. And there you have your butterfinger. And you get your pink and shears. And you just clip the edges of it. Here you have your wrapper. Okay, we're gonna do the other one. I'm gonna glue down. I'm gonna glue it down. You're gonna put your butterfinger in the middle. And you're gonna put the ends together. Put it together, make sure it's down. Flatten it. Get 
a hair glue. And push it in there. And push it down. And again, be careful not to burn yourself because that glue gets hot. And do it again on that side. And then press down. And I like to make my wrappers a little bit wide, longer than the actual piece to have your room in there. Get your pink and shears. Punch your edges. And there you have it. Heavy butterfinger. Came out pretty nice. These are your butterfinger templates. So please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. And click that notification bell to get notified when I upload another video. I'm going to try to create template videos and upload them every thursday so stay tuned for the next video and i thank you guys for watching bye